Today we're here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're gonna take a little bike ride on our electric bikes through Knoxville. We've never done this, this trail before. Dawn, are you ready? Ready, let's do it. Let's do this. This is where we're parking today, underneath the James White Bridge going over the Tennessee River. And there's a boat launch here. Yeah, you can just launch your boats over there. And this is also home to the Knoxville Rowing Association. And this is the start of our adventure today. The bike trail is just over there. And we're gonna take this through downtown Knoxville this is a new trail, we've never done this before. I know it takes you down by Neyland Stadium, it takes you down along the Tennessee River. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take our electric bikes today. Now I know this, there's like five different trails this connects to, so I don't know where we're gonna end up. Yeah, it's a, it, I don't know where we're gonna end up today, but we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna explore it for our first time. So this is the city of Knoxville Greenway and this is the beginning of our journey at the zero zero mark, entering the James White Greenway. Let me give you a little map of what's, what's to come. And there is a connection. There's multiple connections on this trail. So I've noticed there's a lot of folks on this trail, walking, running, riding their bikes. Of course, it, with it being inside Knoxville, this will probably be a pretty busy trail. You have to be alert. So I'm in pedal assist one, and that's a very nice, comfortable uh, spot to be in. It just gives you a little help so you don't get fatigued as much. Of course, you can take it all the way up to four, and um, you could really be going then, but this is just a good pace for me. Helps me get up the hills, and it runs along this railroad track at the moment. Huh. This will be like an urban ride today. <laughs> So we're going to cross the railroad tracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're riding along all the boat docks here. And they got some pretty big, big boats. Yeah, so this here is the Volunteer Princess Yacht Cruises and Events. Looks like they have a bar inside. So I'm, I'm assuming you can rent this maybe for a special occasion or they do do cruises on them. That's yeah, pretty big pretty big yacht and there's a couple yachts in here of course we stopped for a second to smell the roses right in this case of boats right or yachts yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool little area along the river a lot of wildlife a lot of folks jogging and stuff and that can be kind of difficult because you're you're constantly dodging folks you know what I'm saying there's always somebody 
jogging and that. But anyways, let's let's keep on ahead. And we're coming into downtown. There's Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Pretty, pretty cool. In downtown. Oh wow, there's a really cool bridge we're gonna cross over. There's lots to see. Yeah, so there's a rock here. And they're pretty much explaining what it was like in Knoxville years and years ago, back in 1798. They talked about the whiskey was flowing. Uh, there was a lot of sinning going on here. Uh, gamblers. Uh, they also talk about how uh, it was said by a gentleman of the neighborhood that the devil has grown so old that he renders himself incapable, incapable of hopes to spend the remaining part of his days as he believes he is among his friends. And uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and read it for yourself, but eh, I guess Knoxville at one time was a pretty, you know what I mean? It, it was a sinful, sinful place, at least by the accounts of of what this rock was saying by a traveler named James Weir. An absolutely beautiful trail here and a nice bridge we, we just crossed. We had to jump off and just take it in. We haven't been doing much riding. We've just been doing a lot of stopping and, and learning about Knoxville. There's a lot of history along the, the riverfront here and and you could tell we're getting close to UT. You're starting to see that, that orange pop up. So this statue here is a commemoration of the Treaty of Holston. Yeah, it was signed on July the 2nd of 1791 between the United States and the Cherokee Nation. You can see the Cherokees on this side. And of course the English on the other. The treaty was negotiated by Governor William Blunt of the Southwest Territory on behalf of President George Washington. Yeah, so we've been in this whole area for at least 15 minutes, just soaking in all the history and little monuments they have. They also have Knoxville Adventure Collective. You can rent kayaks and yeah, you can rent boats down there and do a little kayaking on the Tennessee River. One of these days we're going to have to rent a, a kayak, right? So this here is home to the Tennessee River Boat. Yeah, just over there they do tours. I think almost on a daily basis. I know you can go to their website and book. They also have dinner um, cruises and, and everything else. And right across from the River Boat is downtown. Big skyscrapers. All the hustle and bustle over there. And just this nice river walk. So many great photo opportunities here. So this here is Calhoun's on the river. We've eaten here before, haven't we, Don? Yeah, a while back. Yeah, it's like the other Calhoun's. Got the same menu, same everything, except for this one here is on the riverfront. And it could be, it could be quite busy. Yeah, they have a piano over here and anybody can play it. It's just sitting in the open. And these guys are They're pretty good. Of course, Calhoun's behind them there. It's pretty busy. Of course, it is a Saturday. That's a really nice boat. I bet you it wasn't cheap either. Uh, they even have a little, a little boat to get to shore if they need to. 
I wonder how far you can go in one of those. I wonder if you can go like all the way down to Mexico. I don't know. I bet you there is a, a bedroom up front. And it looks like they're gonna be heading into Calhoun's themselves. And there's the Tennessee River boat. Looks like it's gonna pass under the bridge here. They're doing a little little boating today. It's just nice to sit down here and take in all the activity, the sounds. The smells. Yeah, watch the boats go up and down the river. So we're here at Volunteer Landing. They have restrooms. And this has been an action-packed bike ride. Technically, we haven't ridden our bikes that far. No. It's, we've, been, we've been getting off like every, literally every 10 feet because there's something new that we come across. Yeah. And uh, of course, we're approaching Neyland Stadium over there and the University of Tennessee. And uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice area. We got restrooms, they even got a, a little deck there. You can watch all the, you know, the boats go by. And uh, very clean, very, very nice riverfront here. A lot of folks out enjoying it too. And they call it the Star. That's yeah, an old paddle wheel. Looks like a lot of fun. trustworthy the rivers ramble the river the rivers rambler so they do have a train I don't know if it runs ever I did see an engine further up the trail I couldn't get a photo of it but yeah resourceful So this here is the Tennessee party boat. This was the ultimate tailgater. Eh, not all, all sports teams got a river boat for a, a tailgater. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Neyland Stadium is just over there. So I'm wondering if this old train still does tours. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know, but later on. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That'd be fun, you know? Another train bridge. I got a few of them crossing the river here.
we're here at World's Fair Park. Of course, a sun spear. They have a really cool splash pad over here for the kids and they're having a blast, aren't they? They they are, they are. It's a hot day. Yeah. Of course, back in 1982, this is where the World's Fair was held. And uh, now it's a, it's a nice park. Of course, we still have the Sun Spear. There is a huge giant Rubik's Cube which is over in the convention center. Yeah, we have seen it many a times on the channel. But uh, these were all the different countries that were represented during the World's Fair. Neyland Stadium and Thompson Bowling Arena is just over there. Ah, it's it's getting kind of warm, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say it's probably in the mid 80s, around mid 80s, but it's humid. That's humid. Beautiful um, railroad bridge there, railroad trussle. That was a nice bike ride. Got to see Knoxville from a new perspective. A lot of history you can read. You can even walk it too. Yeah. Of course, they have Calhoun's down by the river, uh, Volunteer Landing. Uh, we got to go down to World's Fair Park. That was fun. They're having a, um, I don't know if it was a Greek festival or if it was a Middle Eastern, but uh, it was really cool. But yeah, you had to go around and we had our bikes with us and yeah. we were like, yeah, we don't want to leave our bikes, no. you know, open, you know, so we didn't do that. But what we are going to do is we're going to go to one of our favorite restaurants that we eat at here in Knoxville that we just found just recently. 
And I think we're going to share that with you. We've been there a couple times already. Yeah. It's called NAF NAF. NAF NAF. They have two locations. Um, and we're going to show you. We're going to show you the one over here in Bearden. Mm -hmm. And so we're here at NAF NAF Middle Eastern Grill. And there's two locations in the Knoxville area. And we just found this not too long ago. And uh, yeah, we like it. We do. We like it. So let's head on in and show you what this is about. Now this is a chain, and I believe they started in Illinois. So it might be one near you. They're open from 11 a.m. To, to 8 p.m. This is my pita bread in there, handmade fresh for us. And this is what my lunch is. I have a little hummus, I got a little cucumber salad, a cabbage, a little bit of onion, uh, rice, and I got steak and also chicken with some pickles. And you pretty much got the, the same thing. Got the exact same thing. This is our meal for the day. Yeah, this is our big meal for the day. Yeah. And um, this will this will tie us through the whole day. And it's really, 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 really good. Of course we have, this here is the garlic sauce. Really, really good there. That's actually the best thing is that garlic sauce, right? So we've been here before, so we know that it's good. And when we're over in Knoxville now, we, you, there's a couple different Mediterranean, uh, Middle Eastern restaurants in the area, and they're all really good. But this one here seems to be where we end up, you know, I mean, it's on this end of town, so it makes, yeah, it is, it's, and it's very convenient for us, but, um, we got the hummus, now the hummus here is really, really good, it's homemade, um, and that's my pita bread, probably not the most healthiest piece, <laughs> but it is probably one of the better, the better things, right? Let's put the garlic sauce. Oh boy. This stuff is just amazing. And there is no way we were gonna eat all of that. So this will be dinner also. So it's about 1200 calories per plate. And uh, we'll have the rest of this at, at dinner. So 1200 calories for lunch and dinner isn't too bad, is it? No, no. Yeah, we got plenty. Plenty left. So that was Naf Naf. Really good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good all the way through. I love the chicken, the steak, we usually get the combo. Um, and everything is really good. I love their garlic sauce. What's your favorite part? The pita bread. The pita bread. <laughs> it's always so good it is. soft. Especially in the, that garlic sauce yet again. Uh, I wish they would have the garlic butter. They might have the garlic. I didn't ask. But up in Michigan, they have this garlic butter. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, it's so good. So, yeah. So, we'll break this down to two meals, you know, for lunch and dinner. That's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. Never had the bowl. So, maybe next time we'll have the bowl. Yeah. You know. It's probably a little bit less calories that way. But, um, yeah. It's good. We had a great bike ride today. And then we got to stop, have some good food. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for today. Here in Knoxville, it was just a fun day. Got to ride a bike a little bit. I think we're gonna go for a walk, but that's boring. We won't show you that part, yeah. but we're gonna go do another um, lap around Sevierville later on tonight. And um, we're gonna call this this video. Guys, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures, and until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.